start. So hi, everyone. Very happy to be there today at VivaTech with you. Thank you very much for being there and attending this session where uh, we will uh, explain how Amazon and AWS optimize the uh, energy efficiency of transport. This is a, a round table of where we will share some insights on uh, the innovation uh, on the um, um, uh, um, ecological transition, sorry. <laughs> um, we are a company of builders and we are very happy uh, to look for ways to improve how we contribute to a better environment and uh, how we do that uh, together with partners. So I will not speak much longer, and I will start by uh, uh, letting uh, the, the other speakers introduce themselves. So uh, let's start with women. Julie, you want to introduce yourself? Thanks, Valérie. Uh, hi, everyone. So I'm Julie Laborex. I'm a director in our retail organization, and I'm the ambassador for sustainability for Amazon in France. My name is Philippe de Maison. I'm head of sustainability for Amazon Web Services at AWS in France. Bonjour à tous, moi c'est Nis Arnouvi, je suis le directeur des opérations chez euh, Trifaz. Thank you everyone. So maybe my first question will be uh, for you, uh, Julie. Um, what is Amazon doing to, um, uh, to be a responsible actor when it comes to protecting the environment? Yeah, so our commitment is to be net neutral in terms of carbon emissions by 2040, so uh, 10 years ahead of the Paris Agreement deadline. Uh, this is part of the Climate Pledge, uh, which is a pledge we've co-funded in 2019 uh, with Global Optimism, and where we actually invite a lot of other companies to join us. Thank you. What about you, Philippe? What do you do at AWS uh, to be a responsible actor? So AWS is a cloud service provider, so we have to take care about energy and water. So for instance, we have the, uh, the commitment to be water positive be before 2030. And also we help our customers uh, to be um, uh, more sustainable uh, by the migration to the cloud, about the optimization, and also for the technical transformation and to optimize their workload. Thank you. I think we'll come to Trifaz a bit later. Uh, so um, I would like to know how does Amazon uh, support the innovation in the ecological transition? Um, more specifically, I think that Amazon has put in, pl uh, in place uh, many ways to um, optimize the energy e efficiency of transportation. Maybe you can tell us a bit about this. Yeah, so indeed, uh, transportation is a, is a key element of our plan towards the net zero carbon emission. Um, and it's also one of the most visible for our customers, so it's a, an important one to start with. Um, there we have like basically two uh, key focus areas. The first one is to electrify our fleet, um, and the second one is to develop micro-mobilities that we'll discuss as well with uh, Trifaz. Um, micro-mobilities being uh, e-cargo bikes and even sometimes uh, walking deliveries. Um, in terms of the first focus area, we've announced already last year uh, that we're going to spend 250 million euros in France in the next five years to uh, invest and electrify our fleet. And if you look at the second area um, of micro-mobility, we already have above 20 cities in France where we have some form of uh, either electric uh, vans or uh, bike, e-cargo bikes or walking deliveries. Um, if you think of, you know, really concretely, in Paris already today, we have two parcels out of three uh, that are delivered uh, by one of these uh, means. And also to give another example, because it's, it's not just Paris, it's all across France, we have seven cities where it's already nine out of ten. So, and it can be anywhere, so Reims, Rouen, uh, Arras, Lens, like, so it's, it's really uh, spread across, and we're trying to develop this quite a lot. Um, I think what's important to know is that for the micromobilities to develop, we need to change the way we operate our logistics. So we need to have local uh, authorities uh, support and work uh, with local partners so that we are able to implement uh, what we call micro hubs, so basically delivery stations that are in the center or close to the center of cities, because that's what's enabling to make that shift towards um, more sustainable delivery options. 
Uh, and also, maybe just because we're in VivaTech, just to remind um, that technology is supporting us through all this, right? We're using uh, machine learning, we're using AI as a way to optimize the routes, as the way to also help our drivers when they're on the road. So it's really a... Uh, so actually, we'll speak a, a lot about the roads. Just a little detail, you mentioned the parcels, because that's what you're delivering. Maybe you can say a few words about uh, uh, how uh, you work on packaging, maybe? Yeah, so that's the other part that is super visible for our customers, obviously. Uh, and how is it related is like, the more we are able to reduce the size of the packages, the more we are able to optimize the, the, the routes and the delivery. So it's also having an impact on carbon. Um, here again, we have two main uh, areas uh, that we're focusing on. The first one is just to reduce the size of the packages. Um, our ideal is actually to not have any extra packaging put from Amazon and to directly work with our suppliers so that uh, we have no extra packaging. Uh, but also, we're again using um, AI and machine learning to reduce the size of our packages, which led us to uh, improve you know, the weight per package, pa per package sorry, by 38% since 2015, which is the equivalent of 1.5 million tons of uh, packaging. So it's, it's quite a, a big uh, effort that we're, we're having. The second area that we're focusing on is when we do have this extra packaging is making it uh, recyclable and reducing the use of plastic. So we've totally uh, removed any plastic um, um, bags that we used to have for some of our parcels and we've shifted that to um, cardboard and paper bags that are 100% recyclable. We've also removed all the plastic air pillows that were sometimes in the boxes. So now you have 100% recyclable packaging. Wow, impressive. Um, so Trifaz is here and is gonna testify quite, uh, quite soon just, <laughs> just uh, for us to understand the role of Trifaz, maybe you can tell us a bit about your uh, partners, your delivery station partners. Yeah, so indeed, uh, in order for us to be able to deliver those parcels, we need to, we are working with uh, a lot of external uh, partners. We're working obviously with La Poste and Colli Privé as uh, third party carriers, but we're also working with more than 100 uh, delivery partners like Trifaz um, that help deliver from the 26 delivery stations that are across uh, all of France. I'm going to try and continue. Um, so, Nisa, um, I will. I think we'll do it uh, both in French and in English. So, um, nice to meet you. Thank you for being there. Uh, you are one of the French uh, mobility uh, micro mobility partners of uh, Amazon. So, um, maybe you can introduce yourself, your company, uh, and uh, explain how we work together. And uh, shall I translate in France? Uh, Peut-être que vous pourriez uh, l'équipe de uh, enfin, vous représenter l'équipe de Trifaz, qui est l'un de nos partenaires de micro mobilité en France. Est-ce que vous pouvez présenter ce que fait Trifaz et comment vous travaillez avec Amazon? Oui, bien sûr. Tout d'abord, merci pour cette invitation. Je suis ravi aujourd'hui de pouvoir euh, représenter la société Trifaz aux côtés d'Amazon. La société Trifaz, c'est une entreprise qui a été créée en 2001, euh, dans le, spécialisée dans le transport de marchandises. Et j'ai euh, rejoint les effectifs en, 2021, euh, en 2020 pardon, pour ma part, euh, afin de pouvoir développer euh, toute la partie euh, dernier kilomètre euh, pour, euh, pour Trifaz. Nous avons intégré, euh, en, notre partenariat avec Amazon a démarré en novembre 2000, euh, 2020. Nous avons intégré dans un premier temps le site de Noisy-le-Grand en Ile-de-France. Et par la suite, grâce, euh, grâce à notre travail, à notre respect des engagements, à notre... Euh, à notre efficacité et bien sûr à la confiance d'Amazon. Par la suite, nous avons pu euh, euh, intégrer un deuxième, puis un troisième, puis un quatrième site euh, Amazon. OK, maybe uh, a, a quick translation. Uh, so Trifaz um, is a freight transport uh, company which was created in uh, 2001 and which started its partnership with Amazon in 2020, uh, which is also when you joined the company. Um, you have uh, 200 uh, employees and um, you, uh, you are um, integrated uh, stage after stage 
the delivery, um, uh, the logistic uh, de delivery sites. Uh, I think it's. Um, C'est ça. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, you're managing the operations of uh, Trifaz, um, and uh, this company is specialized in sustainable last mile uh, delivery. What are the challenges of uh, the last mile delivery? Alors, il faut savoir que sur cette dernière décennie, euh, les, les ventes de e-commerce ont connu un gros boom dans le monde entier. Et, euh, et, euh, et je pense que euh, ce boom est, est, est notamment dû à la dernière crise euh, sanitaire qui, qui n'a fait que, euh, que conforter justement cette tendance à la hausse. Il faut savoir aussi que les clients euh, ont pris l'habitude depuis de commander en ligne. Ça a changé les habitudes et les, les habitudes des clients sont toujours là aujourd'hui. Et, et, et on le voit, nous, tous les jours sur le terrain, les, et les clients sont de, toujours demandeurs de plus en plus de livraisons de plus en plus euh, euh, accessibles, de plus en plus rapides et de plus en plus euh, respectueuses de l'environnement. OK. So, in a nutshell, uh, there's a boom of e-commerce, uh, especially the last years, and uh, clients are asking for... Uh, there's more and more clients asking for more and more delivery and faster and faster. Thank you. Um, uh, and, uh, and in a more and more sustainable way. Um, how do you work uh, with Amazon? Uh, what are your goals uh, or your goals towards a more sustainable environment? Oui, alors il faut savoir qu'aujourd'hui, Trifaz a pris un tournant radical afin de pouvoir limiter son impact euh, environnemental. Et, euh, et aujourd'hui, nous proposons des solutions de plus en plus durables et, euh, et respectueuses de l'environnement. Et euh, Amazon aujourd'hui poursuit et cesse d'innover ces nouvelles solutions de livraison durable et c'est justement cette ambition commune qui aujourd'hui nous propulse et nous, euh, et, et nous pousse à, à pouvoir atteindre nos objectifs communs qui sont de pouvoir proposer aux clients finaux euh, des livraisons plus durables et respectueuses de l'environnement. L'année dernière, on a intégré euh, deux sites euh, logistiques euh, de livraison, donc en micro-mobilité où on opère en vélo cargo, donc les vélos cargo comme vous pouvez voir euh, euh, sur le stand euh, Amazon. Euh, et euh, justement, euh, grâce à ça, avec l'aide et à la, et à la confiance d'Amazon, euh, nous avons euh, aujourd'hui, Trifaz a réussi à étoffer son portefeuille client. Aujourd'hui, nous livrons un colis sur deux euh, en solution 100% euh, zéro émission avec des véhicules tels que des euh, camionnettes 100% électriques et des vélos cargo. Et euh, voilà, euh, moi je suis fier de dire aujourd'hui que notre objectif principal pour euh, 2025 est de pouvoir livrer 100% euh, des, euh, des colis confiés par nos clients avec ces solutions de livraison en zéro émission. Wow, so um, you have uh, very ambitious uh, sustainable goals. Uh, you have integrated uh, uh, also site after, after site with uh, the, the bikes that we can see uh, behind me. Um, and uh, last year, I think, uh, no, today, uh, you deliver uh, <coughs> um, uh, half of uh, your deliveries um, with uh, zero emission solutions. And the target is to reach 100% of zero emission um, uh, deliveries uh, by 2025. Uh, so congratulations for that. Um, Thank you. Philippe, we haven't spoken a lot about uh, AWS for now. Uh, maybe uh, you can uh, you could tell us how the AWS technology uh, allow to uh, reduce the carbon emissions. Yeah, so AWS, as I said, is a cloud service provider. So what does it mean in the transportation market for Amazon and for all the other customers around the world? So first of all, when you use uh, the IT, it's important to have the, the, the most green uh, IT uh, in, uh, in your uh, uh, infrastructure. So the idea is to see the cloud, uh, first of all, as the public transportation of IT, because we share all the resources be between all the customers. So uh, in reality, when you use the cloud, the, the factor of, uh, if we compare the, the workload on the cloud compared with on-premise, there's a factor of five in terms of efficiency about the energy. You use 80% uh, less energy for exactly, exactly the same application in the cloud compared with your private data center. So it's really important to see the cloud uh, as uh, really the public transportation of IT. We share the resources first. The second uh, view, if 
also you use the cloud, the idea is also to eco design all the services, all your application on top of the cloud services. So it's about the sustainability in the cloud. So uh, it's really important to help our customers and startups just to create the good application uh, with exactly uh, the, the resources they, they need and not more. So that's, that's part of the day-to-day -day of our teams uh, and the sustainability uh, approach with them. So we communicate about the sustainability of the cloud, about the, the energy, the, the water, and but also we, uh, we, gi we give them all the help about the eco-design. About the, the, the sustainability of the cloud itself, I would like just to, to also to highlight all the efforts we do in the renewable energy. Uh, so as a group, uh, and not only AWS, as a group, uh, with all the, the components of the Amazon group, uh, with, uh, we are first the, the, the biggest corporate buyer of renewable energy in the world. Not only because the US is big, but it's, it's in the US and also in Europe. But to, uh, to reach our uh, goal of 100% of renewable energy between before 2030, uh, initially, uh, we've decided uh, to, to be a player in the uh, renewable energy. And first, it changed our goal because f finally we shift our goal to 2025. And we've uh, launched more than 400 energy, renewable energy projects around the world. So it means uh, 20 gigabyte in term, uh, not gigabyte, <laughs> it's a uh, uh, giga, uh, what, sorry, giga, giga what in term of uh, power. So it means that uh, the all, when all the, the, four, the 400 projects around the world uh, will be deployed, uh, it means that we will be able uh, to fulfill the equivalent of the need in, in terms of energy of 14 million of European inhabitants per year. So it's, it's huge. So we are a player in renewable energy. So on top of what we do uh, with uh, the water, what I said in the introduction, so energy water is part of our, uh, our involvement in terms of sustainability. So that's the green IT. So now let's talk about the transportation and exactly. how we can help the startups. So first of all, they, they know that they use uh, the, the greenest uh, way uh, of uh, doing IT uh, to help the transportation. So first of all, uh, if I take the example of what we are doing uh, com uh, commonly uh, with the, the Amazon uh, the retail part, um, the, the re Amazon retail use our technology to optimize all the routes. It's really important to be sure that re resource we engage uh, are in the, the best route we can imagine to reach uh, uh, the, the different uh, customers if they are there, if it, they can sell or not, and just to be, to be adaptive. And also for the micro mobility and also for all the electronic vehicles. There's another problem, it's about the charging. So it's also to optimize the routes to go to the, to, to the, the recharge uh, 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 point uh, available at that time. So it's a lot of IT optimization and it's possible through uh, the, the, all the uh, big data and intel intelligent artificial tools uh, we, we provide. So that's for Amazon, it's key and we work together uh, to provide uh, the, the, the best solution about that. Do you have some examples of uh, clients uh, or of use cases on which uh, you have applied artificial intelligence to um, optimize uh, transportation? So definitely it's, it's about uh, customers and also partners because uh, uh, the, the application itself is not delivered and designed by AWS. So we use also the, the some uh, partners like Soprasteria. So Soprasteria, for instance, uh, developed, uh, de has developed uh, a tool to optimize the routes for the aircraft. So uh, right now, it's still a problem uh, just to, to decarbonize all uh, the aircraft transport. So they have, they have created some, some uh, new tools to optimize the route. So for, in, for instance, uh, about a, a customer example, so le let's talk about uh, Qantas. So Qantas, Qantas is an uh, Australian airliner and uh, they have uh, created a, a project called Constellation. So Constellation is to have uh, the, the capacity to, to change dynamically the route 
uh, with all the climate and meteo information dynamically in the aircraft and just with this capacity to to to, uh, to use the best uh, route uh, they just have an optimization of two percent in depth in terms of fuel so it could be considered as pretty low but the impact is huge uh, uh, around the the world uh, for all the aircraft uh, for for Qantas. So now let's talk about uh, the road transportation. So uh, we have uh, a very good example with Moya. Moya is a startup part of the Volkswagen Group in Germany, and uh, the idea they uh, they have promoted is to uh, to create a new service. Be, be, uh, it's between the, the Uber uh, ride-sharing approach and the public transportation. And w it's, it's in between because you, you can use your application of Moya uh, and uh, just to ask a transport for point A to a point B, but you, ha you have to go to a, a bus stop. So an official bus stop in Hamburg or Hanover in, in Germany. And uh, it's uh, some small uh, ride-sharing uh, vans, and you can have uh, more, uh, more than one customer at that time. It's, it, it could be uh, 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 until five uh, people in, in, into the, the van. So it's, it's interesting because uh, you, you, uh, you need, f through the cloud and, and thanks to the cloud, you, you need to create the route, the appropriate route, dynamically with all the requests from all the customers through, through, their, through, through their mobile. So it's a way uh, for uh, all the, the customers just to be sure that they, they will have uh, exactly the service they need. It's not a public transportation uh, as always because there's the route can be adapted to your need dynamically and it's very efficient and, uh, and not very expensive. So that's kind of help that AWS can propose to customers uh, in the road transportation. And just to finish, with another example, uh, because it's really important to also to innovate. So I would like to highlight another startup, a French one, called... It's always important to innovate. Exactly. It's part of our DNA. And uh, so the idea uh, of this startup was to uh, reinvent the Zeppelin, the, the approach of Zeppelin. Why? Because uh, now, uh, for instance, in all the cargo transportation, um, it's really important uh, to uh, address uh, some zone where it, there's no road. And for instance, for the wood, uh, if you need to transport a lot of woods, uh, there's no road to go there. So flying whales is to create uh, finally s some new Zeppelin for the cargo transportation with their, a very low carbon approach. And it's thanks to AWS, we help them to create and design uh, with a uh, digital twin all the, the aircraft itself of the Zeppelin. So, it's very diverse. Uh, so it's about uh, the, the aircraft. It's about the new innovation with Zeppelin. It's about uh, vans and new way of uh, to, to to serve the customers in terms of transport. And thanks to the cloud, it is done in a sustainable way. Thanks to the cloud in terms of service, in terms of energy, water, and all the infrastructure of the parts. Thank you very much. I think I, I will stop you there. Uh, for those who want to hear the other 50 examples that Philippe has. Uh, Please don't hesitate to join him uh, afterwards. But in the meantime, maybe I will uh, uh, ask each of you if you have a piece of advice on sustainability that you want share, uh, to share with the others. Philippe last, but uh, <laughs> maybe first <laughs> Julie <laughs> and uh, Nizar. Um, yes, yeah, well, so my, my tip is that uh, I enjoy working and like, going to the market to do my, my grocery shopping. I think it's, a, it's great to shop local and to shop like, you know, uh, what is close to us. Um, there is an equivalent as well on Amazon, which I like to use, that is uh, called La Grande Boutique. Uh, it's the boutique of the Made in France, uh, where you can find more than a million of products in across pretty much all categories that are locally made in France, and that's a... That's one thing that each of us can do um, to shop local. Well, pour mon tip, uh, pour mon tip, je vais être court et succinct pour ma part. Uh, ce qu'il faut savoir, c'est que nous pouvons tous faire un geste pour la planète. Uh, chacun, uh, et tout, et tout, tout en maintenant bien sûr l'économie à flot. Chacun à, à son échelle, bien entendu. Et uh, ce qu'il faut savoir, c'est que nous avons tous la possibilité de pouvoir réduire notre empreinte carbone euh, chacun et euh, voilà euh, tout ce que je peux dire c'est que on a cette possibilité là on a cette chance on a des innovations qui sont là aujourd'hui qui existent 
qui, qui vont sans cesse évoluer. Donc, euh, commençons à agir dès aujourd'hui. And the last word. So, uh, my advice is just to take time today and the day after to look at all the wonderful climate tech startups. Uh, uh, they, they, they use AWS technology to do wonderful things. We have some of them on the booth right now. Sandcrop in the agriculture tech, for instance, very beautiful startup helping all the agriculture to uh, uh, to have some uh, uh, micro methodology. So it's it's re it's very important to help uh, uh, the agriculture uh, with very appropriate tools. We have also an example of the cir circular battery um, uh, system led also uh, by uh, some uh, startups. So the idea is just inspire yourself with all the example you have on uh, on the on the booth and also on the web because we have a lot of use cases. So uh, take time with our, the AWS experts and climate tech to inspire your own business. Thank you very much uh, to our guests and uh, thank you very much to our audience for the session of today. Thank you.